Attorneys routinely make decisions without consulting their clients. For example, counsel may decide whether to object to certain evidence and, if so, what objections to raise. However, some decisions ultimately belong to the client. On which side of the line does the decision to concede guilt fall? We explore that question in McCoy v. Louisiana. Robert McCoy was accused of killing three members of his estranged wife's family. He was arrested and indicted on three counts of first-degree murder. The government sought the death penalty. The government's evidence against McCoy was substantial. Among other things, a man fitting McCoy's description was seen fleeing the scene in McCoy's car. McCoy was also in possession of the murder weapon when he was arrested. Nevertheless, McCoy adamantly maintained his innocence and asserted that local police had killed the victims in a drug deal gone wrong. After McCoy's relationship with his public defender broke down, his parents hired Larry English to represent him. English believed that McCoy's best chance to avoid the death penalty was to concede that he killed the victims but to plead for mercy during the penalty phase. McCoy objected to English's plan and, on the eve of trial, asked the trial court to terminate English's representation. The court denied the request, and McCoy proceeded to trial with English as his counsel. In his opening statement, English conceded that McCoy had killed the victims and told the jury, quote, My client committed three murders, unquote. McCoy again objected, but the trial court allowed English to proceed. McCoy was convicted on all charges. At the penalty phase, English argued that McCoy should be spared the death penalty due to his serious mental and emotional issues. The jury wasn't persuaded and sentenced McCoy to death. McCoy's request for a new trial was denied. He appealed to the Louisiana Supreme Court, which affirmed. He then petitioned the United States Supreme Court, which granted cert. In 